Hey what's up guys this is Farooq and welcome back to another DIY or repair video. This is my Sony A7R Mark 1. It was working fine until last week. I got an error on the screen. Camera error. Turn the camera off then on. When I took off the lens the shutter curtain was stuck. I tried to move it with the tools or bare hand but it wasn't moving at all. It was got stuck. I watched a video on YouTube, search on Google and other forums. The most of the people suggest to shake the camera, tap the camera, but in my case, it wasn't working. Once the error shows on the screen, it wasn't going away. Even I turn off the camera or turn back on until I take off the battery from the camera. I tried to take off the battery a couple of times, but still got the error on the screen, no matter how many times I take off the battery or tap the camera. So I decided to repair my camera by myself. Okay, wait. Before I start repair my camera, let me tell you a little bit background story why I decided to repair my camera. So I called my local camera store in Calgary and this is what they said. Good afternoon, camera store. How can I direct your call? To the service department, please. Sales, Stephen speaking. How can I help you? Hey, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Fine, thanks. I have a Sony A7R and the camera shutter is got stuck. Uh, okay. Need to repair that one. Any help? Yeah, unfortunately, we can't send out to uh, Sony as far as repairs. Um, I should have their 1-800 number here, though. Uh, sure. So it's 1877. Yeah. Eight thanks so much. Have a good day. Yeah, no worries, man. Bye. Bye. So the local camera store guy suggest me call to the Sony because Sony handle all their repair warranty or no warranty. So let's call Sony. Thank you for calling Sony. My name is Chris. How can I help you today? I have a Sony A7R Mark 1 and the shutter is got stuck. Um, the repair center that we provide to out of warranty customers is the same is our authorized service center. But the only difference with the out of warranty uh, customers is once you send it to our service center, the customer is the one who's gonna uh, cover the repair. But we do have the same, we, we, do, we do provide service center, which is Sony's authorized service center only. So the service center that we are actually referring you with is the same as our service center for in warranty units. Our, our Sony Authorized Service Center is MTC, or Manufacturing Technology Center, and um, it is located in um, uh, um, Whitby, Ontario. Yes, uh, phone number is one eight seven seven. When you call this number, they can even provide you an estimate price of the repair. So as per Sony policy, uh, if you have a warranty on your camera, uh, the Sony will get all repair and stuff but if we don't have any kind of warranty in the Sony camera we have to send to the local repair center in my case our local repair center is a manufacturer technology center that is in Ontario so let's talk to them thank you for calling the manufacturing and technology center customer service Frank speaking can I help you I have a Sony A7R Mark 1 and the shutter curtain got stuck just want to repair that one and just some quotation okay, for the out of warranty SLR cameras uh, we have a $50 assessment fee it is a $50 assessment fee and it asks you for a credit card number at that point you're just approving to have the assessment done uh, no charge gets taken off your card right away or assessment fee plus return shipping and taxes my other question do you have any information how much the shutter curtain cost yeah they have to assess it to be able to find that out unfortunately so after calling the manufacturing technology center in ontario uh, the guy told me assessment fee is around $50 and I have to pay the shipping for both sides to get the camera over there and coming back. But he did not declare any amount for the shutter curtain, how much it will be cost and how much I have to pay. The only thing, they get my credit card and they will charge in the end. Before sending my camera to the Manufacturing Technology Center, I decided to take a look. Any other website is just selling the shutter curtain. So I start searching on AliExpress and the eBay and these are the parts it comes up 150 US dollars and plus there is some shipping on that one so at this point I decided to change the shutter curtain by myself open my camera and take a look what exactly the part is not working properly I'm not a professional I'm doing it as I don't have any choice okay back to the video before I start I got help from two websites lens rental and score turbo 
For thread down and what tools I need, links are in the description. There are five Phelps screws on the bottom of the camera. I use the Phelps screwdriver 1.5 mm. To inside the battery area, those screws are different thread size. Behind the LCD, there are four screws, are smaller but the same thread size. Four screws are holding the viewfinder, and once I take off the viewfinder housing, I found one screw underneath that. I try to put the screw separate so I don't mess up when I reassemble the camera. When taking off the back housing uh, as it need to be angle and upward. After that, unlink the flex cable from the front panel and the three screw that are holding the LCD, two screws on the bottom and one screw on the side. Lift the LCD and remove the LCD flex cable. An insulation tape was sticky. Take it gently and remove the element flex cable. I use the tweezer as I am comfortable with it. Four screws holding the logic board. I lift the logic board and two flex cable were attached underneath the logic board. Remove the viewfinder and one screw that was holding the handle grip can easily access from the small hole under the flex cable. From the front, remove the IR receiver and two screws under the viewfinder that hold the top part and the top part can easily slide up. One screw is holding the divider. Underneath the three screws was holding the 36 megapixel camera sensor and the three screws holding the shutter assembly. I remove the shutter and take apart as it's just slide in on the hook. All I have left with the shutter curtain. On the side there is one allen screw that is attached to the spring and the second screw is attached to the spring with the metal lock nut. Those screws holding the spring and spring hold the curtain. I start with the allen screw first and I realize my camera shutter curtain is loose. So I tie the screw to get the full tension from the spring as 1 over 4000 shutter speed is fast and the shutter should be get the full tension from there. When I check the second curtain it was a little tight so I lose and adjust the same tension as the first curtain. This is not 100% accurate. After playing for a while with it I feel both spring tension is similar so I start reassemble. Oh at this point I'm feeling really thirsty. Let's have something to drink. Okay, back to the video. At this point before I put the logic board screw, I test it was working or not. Guess what? Yes! Yes, it was working fine. Uh, hold on, let me finish and reassemble. So I used the Sony 35mm uh, crop sensor lens and it was just like the new shutter. There you go guys that's how I fixed my camera. So if you got any problem with your camera, 
You can take a look first before sending to the Sony or just send it to the Sony for the repair. Let me know in the comments what's your thought. If you have any question, comment below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.